everyone welcome again in today in this video i'm going to show you demonstration of online examination system in jspn servlet so if we talk about the tools and technology uh, it's using jspn servlet uh, for the front end it's using jsp html css and bootstrap it's following mbc architecture and uh, um, maven uh, as a build tool and application is deployed over the tomcat server and here under the controller we have servlet beans are there exceptions models and utility so i'm going to run the project i'm going to show you how can you run it and how can you operate it over there if you want to take this project from code one uh, in with remote support so we'll do the complete setup at your machine and the project will be will leave the project in this state and after that you need to follow this demo uh, in order to execute the application also here we have like uh, here we have uh, the database so in the database we have tables exam questions result and user if you want to view the data of any table just right click on it go to select the first option you will be able to see the data over there now in order to run the application open your eclipse and mysql and just right click on the root folder of the application go to run it run on server select the server uh, click next click finish automatically application will launch at your browser okay and here you can see it on my chrome browser it's uh, uh, loaded and here uh, when you click over there it will redirect to the home page this is the home page and we have a login and sign up option over there so first i'm going to log in as an admin and check what admin can do so i'm going to enter the credential for the admin so where you will find this credential for the admin you will you can check them into the user table here then when you right click over there you will get here and this is these are the password link of uh, you can enter this password uh, you can copy the director username and the password from the database and you can enter over there it's showing wrong let me check it again okay password is demo okay i just enter the username and the password logged in into the application and now here under the manage section manage user section there's a section where all the registered user will be displayed here so currently say it, it records are there and what we can do here we can search the user by its first name so when i enter the first name enter here and click on the search it will filter the data and if i click again it will display the data again i can edit the record over here so if i want to change anything let's suppose i want to change the name of this user i can change it from here now it's on the cr and if you want to delete it i can delete by clicking on this link click, let, let's let's delete this user so let's delete it now so now uh the data is deleted successfully so from here uh in this section the admin can manage the users uh, under the dashboard section we have some mini sections like manage exam so admin can add my exam over here so i'm going to add an exam let's say category uh, so i'm going to enter the category over here let's say okay let's say ds exam let, 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 let's say ds and here i'm going to uh, give the exam name uh, let's say ds exam you can i'm just saying adding dummy data you can add the meaningful data i just selected the exam date for today and that is data is saved successfully it means the exam will be saved uh, saved successfully now from here we can manage the dashboard like manage the questions so recently we have added one exam here ds exam that's displaying here under the exam category uh, exam name so i can select this i can add some questions over there so i'm going to just fill up the some dummy data and let's say this is a correct answer for it and i see so let's add a multiple question over there that will be helpful uh, so i just again select the ds exam i fill up the dummy data and this time this will be our correct question and click on the save again let's add one more question the last one so we can give that exam and user can uh, get the result okay so here uh, we added three question under the ds uh, exam after that uh, we have a show result so admin can check the result of the user that is uh, going to uh, give the exam over there click on the next when you click on the next it will redirect to the next page like there are more than 20 records so again will redirect. total 23 records are there also if you want print some results you can click directly on this print button it will print your results of the page then you can save it as a pdf 
from here uh, change password you can change the password and then log out over there so you can log out now let's register the new user and operate the application as a user how we can operate that as a user and what user can perform over there so i'm just going to say new uh, my user and say new my gmail.com and enter the password as a demo at the rate one two three so it should be a combination of some character the first letter should be capital and at the rate of some sign is there some digits it's, it's kind of combination over there select a dob so i can select the old dates from here i just select 23 10, 10, 10. so registered successfully now this user and if i go to the login and if i go here and I enter the user my okay this was uh, new my gmail and the password is demo three that i just said i logged in successfully into the application now here i can check the categories of the exams from here also directly i can start the exam if i want also i can search any exam by its category so let's say i want to search the category for ads you can filter out the data for my ds i can start the exam from here so when i select the category it will give the list of the exam name that is come under that category i just select the exam click on the submit it will start the exam so let's select the first option click on next select select the again first option click on next select the first option and there is no question because there was only three question and now i can click on submit when i click on the submit it will be giving me a result and all the detail about the exam pass or fail like two questions are correct and three there was total three correct question when it's wrong answers over there and when I click on the print PDF I can print it as a result and after that under the give exam we can check the list of all the exams and we can again start the exam in the similar way when you select this any exam like this click on the submit this will be displayed over here under the show result uh, this result is showing for this specific user because I have not logged in as an admin so the user have a specific access click on the change password we can change password so this this is all about the examination portal and um, the SPN servlet. So if you need the source code, you can connect us over the WhatsApp, Skype, or mail. And don't worry about the setup and configuration. We we'll do the complete setup at your machine. Also in the description box, you can check the link from where you can directly buy the project and check the more detail about the projects or how the things are working over there.